So you kind of, everybody here, my guys know that I love this position. And one of the reasons I get like this position first is if I have over-unders like this, which is all it is in catch, I can go from here to head and arm, or here to head and arm, better than I can go from here back to here. He's not gonna let me. No, no way he's gonna let me get this back. Plus, doing this properly and getting this first is gonna shut down that spin. It's gonna crush him right away and get some control. So again, I'm here, I'm holding up at the bones. I'm being easy on my feet right now. Thunder starts framing across my neck with this, or pushing on my head up like that. That's good. Go ahead, it's good. Just push in here. I go, here's to push down a little bit. He's like, oh, you're starting to push my arm off. Not really. This one's coming. It's gonna hit right at the top of the tricep. Across and straight down into his neck. Okay? Yep. Look where the other arm still is. A lot of things here, right? Yep. Come out a little bit. You stab right there. Got it, guys? This nice. is important that I'm squeezing this arm right now. You just pull, pull your arm out. I have to squeeze the arm. Connor, Connor's strong as a mule. It's just I have that arm compromised right now, right? So what I do here is when the arm comes coming out, or he, I know he wants to drop it to the ground, right? So I'm going to fight him there and loosen this up a little bit. So he tries to curl his arm. When he curls his arm, keep curling. Boom. As soon as he passes my hand, it's done. It's completely done. I grab this elbow. You can sit up to put more on diaphragm and pull that way. Like you're doing, you're doing a curl, right? Yeah. But I'm doing what, really? Top wrist lock. All right? Same thing. See the V? Okay? Something like that. This also sets up the, the one of the nastiest top wrist locks there is. And it's the reason you really see, okay, why would you, why isn't it called a, top, a double top wrist lock? This is why. If he's trying to, if he's beating, if I can't get this for whatever reason, I grab the hand like this, fat, right on the fat pad, the thumb side. Okay, full thumb as usual, and I'm gonna turn it this way. Come back here, put it here, high underhook, turn it. And just move. How far am I moving? Oh, shit. So we got the half, but my high underhook is what? The falcon right. I'm blocking him with the high underhook. So I had him out here, I came across, boom, landed that elbow, all my weight. Is, my elbow's not even on the ground right now, is it? Only thing on the ground for me is my feet. And I kind of sneak out a little bit towards that elbow. There's that, okay? You need to keep this arm trapped, right? I'm not worried about going with arm bars and stuff like that now in a little bit. But I want to make him feel like, okay, I'm pulling this, but I'm letting this go a little loose. I want him to feel warm and fuzzy. I'm gonna curl it. And as soon as it pops past my wrist, as soon as it pops past my thumb, it's over. Turn it back and you're done. Or you can take it, take, as long as it's bent past 90, right? It's there, you're good. Right here you can do it, but you gotta pull it towards your head. Look how much space that is. I'm gonna take it back. Just do it. Okay? Last part, are we following so far? Yes, Last part, I have that arm, that's my hand. And it's already bent, isn't it, right now? Mm -hmm. I come over the top, keep the wrist, palm away. Everything frames straight over as I step and all my body weight's coming over to here. High underhook, turn the hand. All I'm doing is the hand, look at the hand. Just before I even run it. Got it, guys? Yes, keep those things as tight as you possibly can. Cool? Yes, all right, let's get some reps on that. One, two, three. Coach.